Conan, do you fear the gods? I would not tread on their shadow. Some gods are strong to harm, others to aid. At least so say their priests. Nature of the Hyborians must be a strong god, because his people have builded their cities over the world. But even the Hyborians fear Set, and Bel, god of thieves, is a good god. When I was a thief in Zamora, I learned of him. What of your own gods? I have never heard you call on them. The chief is Krom. He dwells on a great mountain. What use to call on him? Little he cares if men live or die. Better to be silent than to call his attention to you. He will send you dooms, not fortune. He is grim and loveless, but at birth he breathes power to strive and slay into a man's soul. What else shall men ask of the gods? But what if the world's beyond the river of death? There is no hope here or hereafter in the cult of my people. In this world men struggle and suffer vainly, finding pleasure only in the bright madness of battle, dying their souls into a grey, misty realm of clouds and icy winds to wander cheerlessly throughout eternity. Life, bad as it is, is better than such a destiny. What do you believe, Conan? I have known many gods. He who denies them is as blind as he who trusts them too deeply. I seek not beyond death. It may be the blackness of air by the Numidian skeptics, or Krom's realm of ice and cloud, or the snowy plains and vaulted hall of the Norheimer's Valhalla. I know not, nor do I care. Let me live deep while I live. Let me know the rich juices of red meat and stinging wine on my palate, the harsh embrace of white arms, the mad exultation of battle when the blue blades flame and crimson, and I am content. Let teachers and priests and philosophers brood over questions of reality and illusion. I know this. If life is illusion, then I am no less an illusion. And being thus, the illusion is real to me. I live, I burn with life, I love, I slay, and I am content.